guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome I'm Stephanie with Jambalaya Resale and today I am going to show you what I bought at the Goodwill Outlet or the Goodwill Bins last time I went which was I think it was the day before New Year's Eve or maybe two days before um, so I got exactly 25 pounds at least that's what the guy said I really feel like it's more than 25 pounds but he said it was exactly 25 pounds so it was just under $50 what I paid including tax and everything and I really got a lot of great stuff um, I have not listed any of it yet it has been sitting in this bin some of it came out to get washed but it's been sitting in this bin and I just haven't had time so today's the day I am gonna do my haul for you. If you are new here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button before you forget. And if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up down below. I'm going to try to move quickly because I was told that my last um, Goodwill Bins haul was too long. And I was also told that I have a very humdrum voice. So I'm going to try to sound more excited about the things that I got. Um, I was probably just mom tired in my last one, honestly. Okay, so I got a lot of bras, and I'm going to pull those out. I've told you before, I love to purchase bras at the bins because I average out my cost of goods. So my bins, once you hit 25 pounds, it's $1.49 per pound. And obviously, a bra doesn't weigh an entire pound, but I like to average it out and say everything costs a dollar because some stuff's going to be heavier, some stuff's going to be lighter. It usually ends up that, like, if I spent $50, I probably have 50 syllable items. So, we'll see. All right. So, I'm going to go through the bras quickly. These are all Victoria's Secret, I think. And it was just a huge pocket of them. So we got this little strapless. Now bras aren't going to sell for like top dollar. But you're going to get a $12 to $15 sale on Poshmark for a bra. And they usually sell pretty quickly. I don't hang on to bras for very long. We got this Victoria's Secret bra. This one has the straps. Ooh, there we go. Got a leopard Victoria's Secret bra. This black one just, it's not dirty because I did clean it. It's just got like, I need to get the lint roller. It's all fuzz and piling or peeling. I never say it right. That, okay, this was a bad buy because it is um, a swim top by Victoria's Secret, which would be a good buy. But it was supposed to have like the string that laced all up the back. And I don't have that. So I don't know if it'll sell without it. But we'll see. Alright. I got these Nike shoes for my son. And the laces are all undone crazy because I went ahead and washed them. And they cleaned up so well. When I first brought them home, my husband was like, those look really worn. But I knew they just needed a good washing. But they came out of the washing machine. I don't put them in the dryer. Just the washer. They came out of the washing machine. I mean, they look almost new. So, those are for my son. They're his size. I wish I could remember which YouTuber gave me this tip. I was watching someone on YouTube early last week. And they were talking about Martha Stewart products. And how Martha Stewart sells really well. And I never would have thought that. Because like when I think of Martha Stewart I think of Kmart. Because I guess she had a Kmart brand. And I wouldn't have thought anything about her. But I always like to pick up like linens and stuff at the bins if they have a unique pattern because as soon as I see the unique pattern my brain automatically thinks oh is it Pottery Barn Kids and I pull it up and I look at the tag so I saw these they've got like this I love New York print they say I love New York and they have like pretzels and a bite out of the big apple and the Empire State Building taxis and Broadway and pizza and all those things and I pull it out and I look at the tag and it's a Martha Stewart tag. I don't know if I see it anywhere here. Okay, here it is. I don't know if that'll show up. It's just like a Martha Stewart tag. So I put them in my cart to look up. And when I got around to looking these things up, y'all, 
a set, now this was new in the package, but a set new in the package, the four piece set, had sold for $75 plus shipping. Um, hello, these came home with me. So I don't know, I only have one pillowcase, so I have a three piece set. I've got the flat sheet, the fitted sheet, and one pillowcase. So I'm thinking around the $40 to $50 range, but whichever YouTuber you are who mentioned Martha Stewart, thank you. All right. This is inside out. Oh my goodness. Okay. And it's just a Victoria's Secret little lingerie piece. I have found that lingerie actually does really well on Poshmark. It brings in people to your closet. And my lingerie pieces have done really well. So I am here for that. I have pretty much given up on free people and especially we the free, but I know my local consignment will probably take this if it doesn't end up being worth very much or worth my time on Poshmark. It's a we the free and it's got the metal tag and I mean, y'all, it's the bins. So a dollar, a dollar for free people or we the free, yes. And it's just like a little basic crop top flowy piece. So... I feel like that will do well, whether I do it myself or I take it to my consignment. All right, these are crazy. Okay, it's just a little pair, and I've got hair on it, and it's my hair because I washed these. Um, just a little pair of Nike running shorts. As most of you know, athletic wear is doing really well now that it's hit January, and people are on their fitness kicks, and... um. Nike running shorts always sell, have a good sell-through rate for me. It's not going to sell for top dollar, kind of like the bras. It's going to be around a $12 sale, but it will sell. All right, these are just a pair of men's Columbia fishing shorts. Probably a $15 to $20 sale right here. And as I'm throwing these numbers out to y'all, know that I really haven't looked most of it up. Um, I'm giving you an estimate. So if my number seems too high or too low for you, just know like I'm throwing out off the top of my head what I think I'm going to list it for without looking at the comps yet. Of course, when I look at the comps, it could be selling for higher or lower than what I'm saying. So just keep that in mind. I don't pick up a lot of Coldwater Creek, um, but... Some pieces I will pick up, and this will probably be something that sells better on eBay than on Poshmark. But it is a Coldwater Creek vest. And the reason I picked it up is because, like, look at all the different fabrics on that. That's pretty cool. And it's velvet. And I just feel like this is a really nice piece right here. I just feel like this piece will probably sell for around $20 on eBay. All right, Chico's is another brand that I'm going to pick up when I get it cheap enough, but not something I'm going to pay 4 or $5 for. But this is just a little Chico's cami, just a little basic piece. Um, I do okay with Chico's as far as like sell-through rate. It does really well on Thread Up, but Thread Up isn't being my friend right now. So um, I'll probably just sell this myself, probably like a... 12 to 15 dollar item i actually have one more chico's um cami in here somewhere and if they're the same size then i will probably just lock them up i'm just like randomly pulling out of my box of goodies over here as i go all right nightgowns are another item that do really well any sleepwear so this is just a little basic cotton nightgown with a floral print. It is by Eileen West. And I did look this up, but I don't remember. I obviously felt it was worth my time. So I'm thinking I was seeing comps around $20 to $25. Um, you can list this. Some keywords are like modest, floral, cotton, um, prairie, cottage, um, what is it? Cottage core. I think it's cottage core is like the new thing. So that will probably sell. All right, Torrid is a brand that I absolutely love. It sells really well for me. It sells high for me. And this is new with tags. And I don't think you get, 
can see the full thing. Like it's got a shimmer to it. It's very pretty, short sleeve, open front cardigan, and the retail price on it was $49.50. So I'm thinking I can get $25 for this and it should sell fairly quickly on Poshmark. Torrid has a big following. So I always pick it up when the price is right. Um, okay, this is Talbot's. Talbot's is another brand. It does really well on ThreadUp, but since ThreadUp's not my friend, I'll just list it myself. Talbot's has a big following. It's an expensive brand when you go purchase at retail. Um, you're not going to get as much for it, but I'm thinking this little dress, this dress right here should fetch around 20 to 25. The only thing is, that um, workwear is not doing really well right now because a lot of people are working from home, so they're wearing pajamas. But, I mean, this is kind of casual, but also like business casual. So, I don't know. I might sit on this for a little while, but it was just a good piece. This I tried on, and I think I'm keeping it. So, it's Adrian. Yeah. I'm thinking this is a boutique brand, but I could be wrong. I will actually look it up. And if it does tend to have a good have good comps, then I probably won't keep it because I never keep anything expensive for myself. But it's just a little um, like cardigan kimono type thing in this mustard color. And it looked really cute on me. So probably keeping it unless it's got crazy comps. This is definite prairie slash cottage core, and it's UMG. So UMG, the market is really saturated on, and I pass up on a lot of UMG pieces, but I really liked the prairie cottage core look of this top because that's really in right now. So I'm thinking $15 range on that. All right, I had to pick this up, and I joked with my mom, like, should I keep this and actually wear it? It is like a teacher vest, and if you don't know, I am a middle school librarian, and look at how the books are over here. Oh, I'm so, I get so backwards on the camera, y'all. Look how the books are over here strapped by the belt. Like, this is so something one of my teachers would have worn back in the 90s not keeping it for myself. My middle school kids would eat me alive if I showed up in this, but I think somebody will buy it. Don't know what the comps would be. Maybe 25 to 30. All right, these are some men's Nike dry fit shorts. Thing in $15, probably $15 range on those. All right. Still going. Kind of getting out of breath because I feel like I'm trying to talk really fast. Here's another Torrid piece, brand new with tags. This is just a striped button front shirt with a little collar and a front pocket. Retail on it was $45.50, so I'm thinking $25-ish, $20.25. Got some more bras here. So, Victoria's Secret. Victoria's Secret, I think. Yeah. There were so many bras, y'all. And nobody else was trying to get them. Like, these were um, bins that everybody else was at. Nobody was trying to get them. I feel like I've got $100 of profit just in the amount of bras I picked up. <clears throat> I don't pick up all Columbia. This is just like a sleeveless fishing top, PFG. It's women's, so it'll fetch less than the men's. My camera's not wanting to focus on that. Um, if nothing else, my local consignment really likes Columbia brand, so they would probably take it. This I picked up. It's a newer tag. Oh, it's a loot wear. Some of the loot wear shirts do well. This is Masters of the Universe. Just a total geek t-shirt, um, $12 to $15 on Poshmark. This is a Nike running tank. I really liked the um, racer back stripes right here. Stripes, straps. 
I liked the style of those. Um, $12 to $15. All right, I told y'all that business wear, work wear is not doing really well. And I've been trying not to pick it up. But y'all, how pretty is this loft blazer? It's like quilted. I know you can't even see like the texture of it in this video. You can just see the pattern, but it's quilted. It's like some upholstery from the 1960s is what it reminds me of. But it's so soft and feminine and spring-like, and I just love it. So I just couldn't leave it there. Oh, here's my receipt. I didn't know what I did with it. I told y'all $50. I didn't pay $50. I paid $40.62 for all of this. That's a good deal. All right. This is a pajama set. So we've got the little cropped pajama bottoms. And then the pajama top. This brand is Miss Elaine, which I also do not know that brand. But I looked up the comps on this because I had a couple of pajama pieces and I did throw some of them back when I looked at the comps. So if I bought it and felt it was worth my time, then it had to be fetching around 20-ish. So that's what I'm thinking now. All right, I looked this brand up while I was there and it had some really high comps. It's Peter Miller and it is just a button front Oxford shirt. It's chambray, and it is linen. Here's the tag. Peter Miller had really high comps, just the brand in general, Peter Miller. Um, but the linen, I think, is what's going to take it to the next level. So I'm thinking this is a $25 to $30 comp. J. Jill is another brand that I pick up if the price is right. It's expensive in the store. The comps aren't always that great on it. But this is just a little cardigan and it's houndstooth. Open front cardigan and it's got this little pleat somewhere if I can find it. This little pleat in the back. I feel like this will sell for $20 to $25. Got another Talbot's piece here. This is a 2X. And like, see, this isn't workwear. This is like casual. You could totally chill with some yoga pants and this top at your house. So I feel like I won't sit on this as long as I will the Talbot's dress that was a little bit more dressy. Um, 20-ish. Trying to get it together, guys. We're getting to the bottom. Here's another bra. Also Victoria's Secret. I feel like somebody cleaned out their bra drawer. Here's another Chico's little cami tank thing. I don't know if it's the same size as the other. If it is, I'll lock them together. If not, this is about a $10 to $12 item. This is another brand I didn't know. It's called Palmer Cash. The tag drew my attention, and it seems that he just has different art styles he puts on um, t-shirts. So I feel like this shirt was like a $15 to $20 comp. It's very soft. I stopped wearing gloves at my bins and just hope that I don't touch anything nasty um, because you can really feel the quality of some items. All right, so this is Tahari which sometimes does well for me and sometimes does not. But it's just this nice sweater. What is the fabric content of this? It feels like wool. Like I can feel the quality of this sweater. It is not wool. It is polyester, nylon, and viscose. I probably said that wrong, y'all. Like I can read. I just don't pronounce things right. I'm going to have to look that up when I'm done filming. But it's just very nice. And it like zips a little bit up the back. And I feel like that's like a $35 piece. I picked up these little short shorts from by Hollister. 
not to resell myself, but because my local consignment store loves stuff like this. They won't take my nice brands, but they will buy some Hollister and American Eagle in a heartbeat because that's what the people who are shopping there are wanting. So these are very lightweight, didn't weigh anything, saved them from the landfill. I'm going to wait till it warms up and take these to my local consignment and probably double my money. Christmas is over, so I was trying to steer away from Christmas stuff, but y'all, this is just a little apron, and it's this Christmas print, and it's vintage. Well, I feel like it's vintage. It's apron linen tree, San Jose, California. So I don't know if it's real vintage or if they just make it look vintage, and it kind of ties a couple places in the back, but I love this. I think it's precious. Would totally keep it for myself if it's not worth anything. This is Lucky Brand, and I have a love-hate with them. This is a super lightweight top. It's just basic. I probably won't even fool with selling this myself. I'll probably take this to my local consignment because they also love Lucky Brand. And it's new with tags, so I feel like they'll take that. This is Banana Republic. I steer away from a lot of their pieces. And this is Banana Republic Factory. And you know that, in case y'all don't know, see how it's got the little diamonds underneath Banana Republic? That means it's the factory. But look how cute. Now, I know this is another workwear type piece, but just look at the little ruffles and the birds. I like it. $15 maybe. All right. I would not have bought these old navy pants if they weren't new with tag, but they are new with tag, and they're rock star. And I know a lot of people will not touch old navy with a 10-foot pole, but y'all, old navy does sell. Old navy, people know what size they wear in old navy. They know what style they wear in old navy, and they will purchase it. And if I can't sell these on Poshmark, then my consignment will definitely take them. But these are a size 20. So, plus size stuff sells really well, too. So, these have a lot of things going for them. So, I'm thinking these are a $15 piece, at least. Just a few more clothing items. I'm going to go ahead and do the clothes first. All right. This is called Countess Mara. Never heard of this brand, either. It's all folded up, brand new, has a $28 tag, but I don't know if that's like a vintage tag and this is a vintage dead stock item or what, but I looked up this Countess Mara brand and it had, it had a good um, selling rate on here or good comps, I can't even think today, and had good comps, so I went ahead and picked it up, but I don't remember what the comps were, had to be over $20 for me to fool with a brand I don't know. I don't do a ton of vintage, but I did pick up some vintage pieces. I've been watching Thrifting. Is I think Thrifting is my beach, and she does all vintage. And she really picks up some great pieces. I don't know what I'm doing with vintage, but I do know that these vintage jeans that are made in USA, they're NY jeans, they have this white floral embroidery all over them. And I feel like these are some great streetwear jeans, and these will sell for $25 to $30 at least. So, that's what I'm hoping. Alright, here's another Talbot's piece. It's just a basic vest. I'm thinking a $15 to $20 item. I didn't look up the comps on this. This is from the Disney Princess Half Marathon. But, um, you know... It's my size. So, if all else fails, y'all know I love me some Disney. I will so wear this and act like I ran in this. I don't have any shame. Alright, this vintage piece, I had a couple of vintage pieces and I threw them back. But I kept this one. It's Florentine, which is made in Canada. And it is like pleated, long sleeves. It's supposed to have a belt, but the belt's missing. It's polyester. It has shoulder pads. And I just felt like this was a good piece to take a gamble on and dip my toes in the vintage waters. So, we'll see about that. 
All right, we've got a few pair of shoes and a couple other things. It's honestly like since it's been almost a week since I've been here, I don't even remember what I got. I'm pulling it all out so it can quit dipping in here. I'm really kind of aggravated because I forgot that I bought this. I bought this Nutcracker ornament because I already had some here at home. And I was going to lock him up with the ones I already had to do my eBay listing. But now I've already made my eBay listing with the other two. So now I'm going to have to pull them out and re-photograph and re-list so I can get a little bit more money. But he's cute. I don't do glasses usually, but some resellers do. And they said, like, it doesn't even matter about the lenses because people are buying the frames and then they'll put their own lenses in here. So this was, like, Trey Jolie. I looked up the brand. It looked like it had good comps. It's just some wire frames with, like, teal tips. So we're going to see because they didn't weigh much. So it was a very small gamble. Didn't get as many shoes as usual. Well... I don't even want to say as usual because I used to not get shoes at all. But the last time I went to the bins, I got a lot of shoes. And this time I just got some. So these are Skechers Lux Foam. Can you see that? And they're just a little wedge. They're in great condition. And Skechers has a decent following. Um, these really, I don't think, were worn maybe in the shoe store because the tag on the bottom is still like intact and in really good condition. So... <clears throat> Maybe $15, $20 on those. I don't know this brand, but I looked it up and it had a good sell-through rate. And I don't remember what it was now. I keep saying sell-through rate when I want to mean is comps. It had good comps, but I don't remember now. It's N-A-O-T and they're made in Israel. And they have the original price tag in here of $40. And... I mean, they were worn because there's stuff in there, but maybe only once because that inside tag is still in there. But, y'all, these aren't even the same shoe. That's what I get for not checking. They're the same brand. They're not the same shoe. I have seen where people sell one lonesome shoe and it sells. Like somebody did that with a Rothy's or something maybe on my Instagram. But I don't think that's going to happen with this brand. Boo. They do that at the bins sometimes. They just put rubber bands around stuff that doesn't even go together. And the color was so similar I didn't even notice. Alright, these are Crocs. I do really well with Crocs actually. And these are um, like they're kind of like fur lined. And they're in really good condition. Um, probably like a $15 item here. Oh, I have more clothes down here. What is this? Oh, this is mod cloth. I don't know, like a $12 to $15 item there. I've got this belt. I've been picking up belts if they're leather. This is American Eagle Outfitters. It is a size large belt. American Eagle has a good following. And if it does not sell for me, then I will take it to my consignment. Because like I said, they love American Eagle. Now, I think I got all these shoes. Before I do the shoes, I'll show you the puzzle. This puzzle is sealed. I almost always pick up a puzzle if it's sealed. If it is not sealed and it looks like it's fun to put together, I will purchase it to put it together and then sell it. But I almost always buy them when they're sealed because that's an easy sale. All right. Last shoes I got. So, it's important to make friends at the bins. And I have a friend there and we talk. She goes like the bins every single day. I, I only go like once every two weeks, maybe once every month. It just depends on my schedule. But um, I was digging in a clothes bin. I didn't even realize they had brought out more shoes. And she came over to me and she whispered. And she was like, you may want to go check that last shoe bin again. Because I just found Gucci and Prada over there. And I was like, oh, thank you so much. And so I went 
I didn't find Gucci or Prada, but I did find some good name brands. Some that I hadn't even heard of. So, what did I decide these are? Okay, these are just aerosols. So, they're like a comfort shoe brand. But they're in really good condition. And comfort shoe brands do really well. These almost have like a coach loafer type look to me. So, I feel like they'll sell 25 to 30 Okay, these were the ones that were really good. Louise et C. I don't even know how you say it. It's Louise et C I E. And they are just these little booties. They're suede. They're in really good condition. They're leather upper and lining and a man made sole. I feel like I looked the comps up on this, and this was like a $40 to $50 shoe. These are called Thomas Dean. They're made in Italy. They are a men's shoe. The toe has some scuffing. I'm going to use my Doc Martens Wonder Balsam on here and clean that on up. It's still going to have a little bit of scuffing, but not as noticeable or as bad. The soles are in good condition. This, these shoes do go together, unlike my Made in Israel pair that I'm now really sad about. I'm thinking this is a $70 shoe right here. So, I didn't get Gucci or Prada. But I got Thomas Dean and Louise Etsier. I don't Y'all probably know how to say that and I sound ridiculous. Thomas and Louise. They sound like a married couple. Alright. So, that is my haul. I hope that I talked faster. I hope this didn't end up as long. I don't have a counter going at the bottom. So, I don't know how long I talked. But, what do you think? That was a good haul for $40, right? Because if I go to the Goodwill retail locations, like the actual Goodwill stores, I'm, I'm going to get like four, not even four things, and it's going to be $40. So, that's pretty good. Alright guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your week. And I will see you next time. Bye.